ChatGPT is getting some updates and here's everything you need to know as an SEO in 2025. First, what is OpenAI Dev Day? Well, OpenAI hosts these every single year, highlighting major changes in their platform. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, actually shared today that ChatGPT active user figures have grown by over 800% in the last two years. And this growth rate is obviously absolutely crazy, but it also reminds me of this report that predicted that GPT traffic could overtake Google search before the end of 2027. Sam Altman actually announced a whole load of really cool stuff in this keynote, but I really wanna dig into one massive announcement that you're now able to build apps inside of ChatGPT. But we've learned a lot along the way. And today we're gonna to open up ChatGPT for developers to build real apps inside of ChatGPT. This will enable a new generation of apps that are interactive, adaptive, and personalized that you can chat with. So what is this? Well, they announced the Apps SDK. Put simply, it's a way to embed and monetize your website so your users can use your app inside of ChatGPT. This is the first new major app store in over a decade. One example they showed here was a user uploading a photo of a hand-drawn sketch, then saying, Figma, turn this into a wireframe. And then it just rendered the result directly into the chat window, which is cool, right? But what I noticed is that you're actually able to reference the app, Figma in this case, directly in chat without having to select it from a list prior, just like you would have had to do with the custom GPTs. The model just knows that you want to interact with Figma. But what got me even more excited was this next example. Here the prompt said, make me a playlist for my party based on my favorite songs. ChatGPT then automatically recommended Spotify, an app that can help you with this type of task without it ever being directly mentioned. Now, I don't know about you, but that gets my SEO brain going crazy. How can I optimize my app listings so that it's gonna get surfaced to users that have never even heard of my brand? So let me talk you through an example of how I think this could work. Uh, imagine somebody sends a message to generate a weight loss routine. Will it be possible for me to get James's workout app, my new app, to be recommended for all of these prompts? And remember, if I'm able to do this, this is not a search results page with many different options. As we saw in the example above, there is only one app shown to the user in the chat window at any time, meaning these would be massive conversion rates and would be hugely powerful for organic growth for any brand. And we've also got to remember again that there are over 800 million of these users and that figure is growing so quickly. I cannot overstate this enough. Chat GPT Apps SDK is an absolutely huge opportunity for software brands. But it's not just SaaS companies that will win here. If you can imagine any sort of rich interactive experience that could help users discover your brand, it's worth shipping your own app. Some quick examples off the top of my head uh, would be a kitchen company with an app that shows users what their kitchen would look like depending on what type of worktop surface or paint color they've selected. Or maybe an app for a dog food brand where the user can select what type of dog they have and get some dietary recommendations. You could literally build anything. Here at LLM Refs, we're gonna be tracking exactly which apps are showing up for which prompts directly inside of ChatGPT. So if you want to get this data and grow your brand's visibility in AI search, come and say hi. I'd appreciate a repost if you learned anything from this video. Have a great day, chat soon.